Hello everyone, Miss D here. Today we're going to create a brochure and it should take us less than 30 minutes to create this brochure. This is the simple way to create a brochure. So open up Word and go to a blank document like I have here. Click on blank document and type in all of your words. Now, I'm going to put an enter in. Put in all of your words. Don't worry about formatting anything as of yet. So what I'm going to do is put in some random words. Okay. So how you do that is you type equal ran, open and close paren, and some random words will come up. Okay. And I'm just going to put in, for the sake of time, I'm putting in random words. So it really doesn't matter. Okay, so once you have all your words in your document, what you're going to do is go to your layout tab, you're going to go to margins in your page setup group, you're going to click on narrow. Okay, it's going to change your margins to narrow, which is 0.5 all the way around. All right, you're going to change in the page setup group, you're going to change your orientation to landscape. Okay. And you're changing it to landscape because you, you need to have three columns because this is a brochure. And we're going to change the columns to more columns. We're going to click on three. And then we're going to set the spacing in between to be on one instead of 0.5. So it's going to be one inch instead of 0.5. So it's one inch in between. Okay? And so you have something that looks like a brochure. All right? So, you, what you have to remember is the outside of your brochure will start on the right side. Okay? So, this is a little up to, a little too high, so I'm just going to put a couple couple enters in. I think I put it in the wrong spot, my insertion mark in the wrong spot. There we go. And what I'm going to do is go up. One. There we go. All right, so say in my document on the left side, I want a picture in here or image in. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to go to online pictures. And if you're going to publish this brochure, you really should not be using online pictures. You should be using uh, royalty free pictures. But this is for demonstration. So I'm just going to use these pictures for now. So I'm having um, starting a dance studio. And I'm just going to put in dance and I'm going to insert my picture. Once you insert a picture, click on your layout options and then go to wrap text with text, excuse me, with text wrapping square. Okay. And then I'm going to resize my picture so that the words wrap around my picture. Okay. Now you can see it's pink. I want to make this blue. So I'm going to go to the adjust group. Okay, I'm going to go to colors, and you can see I can get all these different colors. I, I want to make my picture blue. Okay, so there you go. It's blue now. All right, now, if I want to put uh, an outline around it, I can. I'm going to go to the picture styles group right here, and I'm going to say um, picture border because that's what I want. And, I, of course, I want a blue border. But I want my weight to be dashes, and I want the dashes to be like a picture frame. So I'm going to uh, pick square dots. And if I take, you should see the border around my picture, okay? Now, as you, you're working on your document, you can adjust how you want things to look, okay? So that's what I'm doing. You just have to eyeball your document and adjust how you really want things to look. And if you're happy with um, how things are looking, then you're good. All right. So I'm I'm pretty satisfied with um, with this. I may want to put this is a little low, so I may want to um, just adjust this just a little bit. There we go. Let me see what it looks okay. That that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. All right. Now, on this side is 
the outside of my brochure. It's the first page that everyone will see. So what I'm going to do on this is I'm just going to put a couple enters in. Okay, and I'm going to put my uh, studio's name. So it's going to be Denise's Dance Studio. Okay, now I'm going to center it. And I'm also going to make it blue, font color blue. And I want a lighter blue. So I'm going to pick the light blue. And then I want to grow this so that it's at least on two lines. And then I'm going to make it bold. Okay, so that's my dance studio Let's see if i can make it any larger there we go 28 28 is the highest i can go without putting it on three lines so what i want to do now is i want to insert an image so i'm going to online images again you should not be using these images if you're really going to publish this i'm going to insert my dancing girl I'm going to make uh, with tax wrapping, uh, wrapping square, and the reason I'm doing that is because I want it, I want it centered, okay. And if I have words, I want my words to be wrapped around, okay. So I don't like how this is a silhouette and it's black. So I want to make um, my color blue. So I'm going to the adjust group right here, go into colors, and I'm going to make my dancing girl blue. And of course, I'm going to put a picture border around her. So, picture border, I'm going to say my dashes, and I want square dots, and this is a square dot, and then I want to make that border blue, and I'm going to make it just a little bit darker. Okay, so you should see there is a border around my dancing lady. All right, and then of course, on your brochure, you have to have an address, so I'm just making up this address. And I need a phone number. Now, what I need to do is make sure that this formatting is the same as the formatting in the, at the bottom. So I'm highlighting these dance studio, going to my clipboard group, I'm double clicking on Format Painter, I'm scrolling down, and I have my paintbrush, so I'm just going to paint so I can get the correct format. Now, I'm pressing um, escape to take the paintbrush, to deactivate the paintbrush, but you can see that this is far too large. So I have to shrink this. So I'm going to the front group and I'm shrinking the front size so that it's, it looks a little bit better. And you see I have too many spaces in between here. So what I'm going to do is go to my paragraph group and I, I want everything to be single space and then you know I have to remove spaces after paragraph, okay? So if I look at my document, Dance Studio and my address, it looks the same. So that is perfect. Now I have these words, so I'm just gonna press enter a couple times and it goes right down here, which is perfect. And I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit so I don't have anything at the top. You can make a top margin if you like, um, so that, you know, nothing really goes to the top. And I need some more random words in here, so let me just take care of that. Okay, and there we go. Oh, for some reason it's not working now. Let me see. Let me try it again. Equal. R A N D. Oh. Well, for some reason it's not working, but I don't know why. But we can always cut and paste just for uh, my random words. Um, now, what you're going to do is you're going to actually type your words in whatever words you want. So this is my brochure okay and it looks pretty decent for a quick brochure all right so class i let me make correct this mistake uh 
you should know what it means when you have the red wavy line versus the blue wavy